Its opening in 1965, millions of vehicles continue to ply the Accra Tema motorway, which links the harbour city of Tema to the nation's capital. Experts have criticized government for the little maintenance the road has seen over the years. Some expansion works began this year, but on Wednesday, Vice President Dr. Mohamed Dubaumia cut sword for the next stage to begin. <laughs> The project is expected to be completed in 28 months. The supervising consultant is CTI Engineering Company Limited from Japan, while the main contractor is a consortium of Shimizu Corporation and Dai Nippo Construction of Japan. The project is to improve safety and efficiency of transport and to provide uninterrupted traffic flow on the motorway. Here, East Minister for Roads and Highways, Kwesi Amwakuata, blaming encroachers for delays in the project's commencement. To those people, let me use this opportunity to advise them that I am giving them two more weeks from today. And if they don't move by the end of two weeks, it will be proven to them that there is authority in this country. I have taken time off to visit some of the illegal structures. And Ghanaians will be shocked to hear that a number of such illegal structures are even pit latrines lying along the motorway. That's why I'm saying that the entire stretch of the motorway is inundated now with all kinds of structures. This is in discipline in the highest order. And I am today announcing that the next few weeks following, Ghanaians are going to see action on the motorway. I am giving all those who have put up illegal structures Two more months, two more months to relocate. So far as this issue is concerned, nobody will be considered as a big man. A big man in Ghana is the one who keeps the law. The Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Dubaumi, has urged the Roads Minister to take immediate action to ensure the project begins as he called on drivers to be patient behind the wheels. Discipline on the Tema Highway and unauthorized structures being put in place. Uh, being an action man, he's given them two months to uh, vacate these areas. In my opinion, the two months is too long. If someone is breaking the law, you better get them out of it as quickly as possible. So maybe you should revise those two months, maybe to two weeks, and we can see action very quickly. Uh the improvement of the runabouts will enhance the road network connecting the four principal corridors of the four West African countries, Tema, Ouagadougou and Abidjan, Lume, and an underpass on the Accra-Aplau direction at the Tema motorway runabout.